A traffic light is green for 40 minutes every hour, amber for 5 minutes every hour, and red for 15 minutes every hour. A bus driver passes the same traffic light seven times a day. Before we start the question, it pays to, first of all, list the probabilities of uh, all the different colored traffic lights um, appearing on, uh, at any given traffic light. So we have the probability of a green light occurring as 40 out of 60 minutes, so that's 2 over 3. The probability of encounter encountering an, uh, an amber-colored traffic light is 1 out of 12, which is a simplified version of 5 over 15. Oh, sorry, 5 over 60. And you also have the probability of the red colored traffic light occurring as 15 out of 60, so that's one quarter. These three probabilities should and would add up to one. Part I. What is the probability that the light is green in all occasions? You can use the binomial theorem here, but uh, I think it's, that'll be a bit of an overkill. Let's start with the first traffic light. The first traffic light being colored green is 2 over 3, as is the second traffic light, the third, the fourth, and so on, all the way through to the seventh traffic light. Each traffic light showing green has a probability of 2 over 3. So the probability that you'll encounter all greens is equal to 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3, etc., so simply, it's 2 over 3 to the power of 7. Double A. What is the probability that the light is not red in at least three occasions? So we want something, and we want it at least three times. What is that something that we want? Well, we, what we want is that it is not a red. Lowercase p, which is used in the binomial theorem formula, represents the thing that you are interested in, the thing that you favor. In this case, it is that, um, that, that it isn't red. And the probability of a traffic light not showing red, because that's what you're interested in, is 1 minus 1 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 4. And obviously, Q in the formula will be 1 over 4. You have um, 7 traffic lights. But the lowercase value of R, you have, a, you have a lot of them. You have 3. Four, five, six, seven. Using these variables, you can substitute them into the binomial theorem for these five cases and add up the probabilities. But obviously, five applications of the formula is too many. There is a shorter way, and that is the probability that R is greater than or equal to three. R here does not represent red. It just represents the number of occurrences of what you are interested in, in this case, that the traffic light does not show a red, can also be written as 1 minus the probability of r equals 0. r equals 0 here means that you, you don't have any non-red traffic lights. Minus the probability of r equals 1, minus the probability of r equals 2. All you need to do now is just substitute. This will be the lowercase value of r, lowercase value of r, lowercase value of r, and you use the binomial theorem three times. So you have 7C0, 1 over, sorry, 3 over 4 to the power of 0, 1 over 4 to the power of 7. This actually represents the case where you have no non-red lights, which basically means that you have all red lights. And that's obviously 1 over 4 to the power of 7, this part being equal to 1. Take away from that the case where you have one non-red uh, traffic light. Uh, so that's 7C1, 3 over 4 to the power of 1, 1 over 4 to the power of 6, remembering that these two powers have to add up to the 7. And finally, the case where you have two non-red traffic lights, 7C2, 3 over 4 to the power of 2, remember, the power of the P follows the subscript of the combination. Finally, 1 over 4 to the power of 5. And just use a calculator, making sure you enter all the numbers correctly, and you should get your right answer.